Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through point of sales functions in the Easy Solution restaurant software. First, we'll go to the point of sale button and into the point of sale screen. As you can see, the top buttons are all menu buttons where we can switch between menus. To set up the menu buttons, we press and hold shift and mouse right click. Here you can enter the details. If you want a picture, you can add one from the browser menu, otherwise you can leave it blank. You can edit the text and box color. Once you've done that, you can save. So shift and mouse right click will assign the button as a menu button. Once you've finished assigning the buttons, you can choose one of the top buttons, press and hold control plus mouse right click. Here a different menu will pop up, with the first box being the part number. There is the item number, picture file, the retail price for the item. Once you enter the part number, the price will appear if it's been set in the stock card and of course you can choose the colour of the button if you'd like. Once you've done that, you can go through and set up the rest of the buttons. Over on the right, there is a menu button called Tables and Tabs, which is a standard menu button. If we do Shift plus Mouse right click, in the menu name you can name it whatever you'd like. Under the menu button, you can see that there are five table buttons and two tab buttons. We're going to add the sixth table button. So control plus mouse right click. To create a table, the next text has to be very specific. First, we put an open square bracket and type table, hash, and then the table number that we want. In this case, six then close bracket. The item name can be anything we want. We'll just stick to the same name as the part number. You can choose whatever you like for the rest of the options. Same with the tabs, control plus mouse right click. Here, this is set to table 101 and the name is tab one or whatever you'd like it to be. Okay, so we have six tables and two tabs. We now have four modes of operation. The first one we'll go through is the takeout. The client comes in, pays for the items he wants, collects them and leaves. That is the easiest and simplest way of doing things. And this option is the default. Let's say we sell two Coke Zero, three Sprites, one Supreme Pizza. We'll go to pay, Enter the amount that is paid, and we can then do save or print. Print will be sent to the printers for the people at the bar and the kitchen, so that they know what is to be prepared for the client. The second mode is the pickup. Let's say a client calls up and asks for items for a later time. We can then choose the client tab and enter the client details. If we have the client number, it can show the client name. Let's say someone comes in and we ask for their mobile number. Once we press enter, after entering their number, the system will bring up the client's list. If the number is not there, you can add this number as a new client along with other details. The record should be saved and each time they come, we can bring up their details for selling. Let's put in their items and press print. The items will be sent through the kitchen and bar. If we want to find orders of people that have called up, we need to press the recall button. It will bring up the outstanding orders of people that have called for an order. Notice that this will show all of the orders from the different modes that can be used. We can either print the receipt, send to kitchen, or pay for the order once they have entered the restaurant. We'll do pay. For this, we need to enter the password, process the sale, and once that has been done, you can print the receipt. 
If you would like to go back and sell all orders processed, you need to go to recall and then select all under the filter on the side. The third mode is delivery. It's very similar to pickup, but instead someone from the business takes it to the client instead of the client coming to the restaurant. So we'll do a quick illustration with a few items. You can also add a delivery charge if you'd like to. You can press print so that the items are sent to the other departments of the restaurant, which can then be delivered to the clients who will hand you the money. And again, you can recall and see that the order is still due payment. Then you can go ahead and pay it off. The final mode is dine-in. It's exactly the same as takeout, except that the staff takes the food items to them. The tables are assigned to the clients. Before we continue the transaction, we will change user to the manager. When we go to the tables and tabs menu and choose a table number, we can put it in the number of adults and children. Let's put four adults and one child. You can enter the client name, and the time and date. Staff is the one who is logged into the computer, which is the manager. We'll then say in use. The color of the button changes from white to yellow, which means it's in use. Now you can start inputting the items for that table. We'll go back to the tables and tabs menu. Click on the table the client has been assigned to. Then choose print so that the items can be prepared at the bar. Once you press save or print, it will update the table information. It will show the name of the staff member who is managing the table and the client name with the number of people assigned to the table as well as the total price of the items for that table. We'll put some items in. Back to the table and print. Now the table again has been updated with all the items that has been applied to it. Again you can choose to post more to the tab. Once it has all been done, you can click the table number which will bring up the items and details of the table that was assigned. We can print the bill for this which is taken to the client and they can see what items are on the receipt. You can move table, reprint, split items, and so on. Let's say the client wants to split the item. We will choose the item that they want to split, the Supreme Pizza. Go to split item, and here we'll say it has been split between four people. If we want to do split billing, we'll click the drop down box for split billing, and it will show the number of guests. We'll choose guest one, then select the items via the checkboxes. Then we can go to the next guest. The items will disappear that were selected for guest one and repeat again for the rest of the guests. If you want to see all of the items, you'll need to set it to the blank guest. This way we know everything has been allocated. Choose a guest, select the bill button and then press print. This has printed the bill onto the point of sale printer. Once the guest has seen their bill, they can now pay by pressing the checkout button, which will bring up the items for them to pay off. Press the pay button, pay by check, save. Again, you can go back in to view the outstanding payments by each guest. Once the amount is fully paid, the table button has gone from yellow to red, signaling that it needs to be cleaned or maintained by a staff member. Once the table is cleaned, you can press ready and it will reset its status. You can also reserve the table which puts it into a reserved state for clients who have booked. You also have the option to put in the details for the people who have booked the table. The tabs are the same as the table, but it's called tabs instead. If the person at the bar doesn't want to pay every time they get a drink. We hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.